the race for Zimbabwean internet dominance has taken a dramatic turn, with the controversial businessman Wignell Chaveo's bid to be the sole agent for Elon Musk's Starlink satellite internet service facing a major setback. The Postal and Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Zimbabwe Patras has confirmed that it has issued multiple licenses to various operators, effectively ending Chaveo's attempt to secure exclusivity through his company. IMC Communications Chaveo, a controversial figure known for his close ties to President Emerson Umingagwa, had previously received a license to a presidential order, bypassing the usual Patras procedures. This move, however, drew immediate criticism for its blatant disregard of the law, which clearly outlines licensing processes and regulations. None of the licensed service providers, including Chaveo's, have exclusivity rights to partner with global satellite internet giant, Starlink. Patra stated, emphasizing that the regulatory body is committed to fostering a competitive market. This revelation comes amidst reports that Umingagwa's son is also seeking to enter the Starlink market, adding a family-related twist to the already heated competition. The scramble for Starlink's high-speed internet services has ignited a tender war between Chevelle and his competitors. With allegations of unfair advantages and political influence swirling in the background, Chevelle, who has become synonymous with lucrative government tenders, recently found himself in the spotlight for the wrong reasons. His Instagram account was reportedly hacked, exposing alleged private chats with numerous women, including married individuals. However, despite this scandal, the businessman quickly regained control of his account and celebrated a business milestone, sharing a collage of himself alongside Elon Musk. Always moving from strength to strength against all odds, he declared on his social media platform. This celebratory post came just a day after Patras announced that IMC Communications had received approval to provide internet services in Zimbabwe through a partnership with Starlink. While this approval was initially seen as a major victory for Chevelle, Patras has clarified that the license is not yet finalized and will not grant exclusivity rights. While it is correct that the regulator has approved IMC's application for an ISP license, Patras is yet to grant the license document given that there are still some outstanding processes to be completed. Patras explained, The regulator has also emphasized that it has issued numerous ISP licenses to both existing and prospective operators, including companies like DFA Zimbabwe, ZOL, Utanda, PowerTel, Liquid Intelligent, and Telone. None of the applicants, issued or already operating, holds a license with sole or exclusivity rights for any internet services because that would violate the country's competition laws. Patras Director General Dr. Gift Mashenjit stated, An ISP license is an internet service provider's license. Several others already have the licenses. He added, the entry of Starlink into Zimbabwe's digital landscape is expected to have a significant impact on the industry potentially revolutionizing internet access and significantly reducing costs. Affordable internet has become a vital necessity in today's digital world, and the government has recognized the importance of a robust ICT infrastructure for economic growth. Access to and use of information communication technologies ICTs should become pervasive in all facets of life leading to digitalization of the economy as envisioned by the National Development Strategy NDS-1. The government has stated, Starlink's high-speed, low-latency services are particularly relevant in Zimbabwe, where many rural areas lack reliable internet connectivity. The company, which currently provides coverage to over 80 countries, is a low-Earth orbit LEO satellite operator owned by SpaceX, the brainchild of billionaire Elon Musk. The Starlink scramble in Zimbabwe has exposed the complexities of the country's digital landscape highlighting the interplay of political influence, business interests, and regulatory oversight.